Hello folks, C.W. Johnson Jr. here. It is November 16th, 2018. And i um, just give you a little update on some of the stuff I've been reading this very cold, but yet also warm November. It's, uh, we had snow here in Shreveport not too long ago, and um, it didn't stick, of course. It was just snow flurries, and that's very unusual for this area this time of year. But of course today it's actually rather warm, about 60 degrees, and I'm rather hot in my car right now. That's one of the things about winter that um, sort of annoying. You all you get all um, bundled up, and then you get out into your car, and you all your sun and you're hot again. So you have to unbundle. So um, this is some of what I've been reading: um, Black Rednecks and White Liberals by Thomas Sowell. This is from Encounter Books. San Francisco. It's all about um, Thomas Sowell's study of sociology and human culture and how a lot of uh, the unique problems, the problems that are unique right now to the, or at least in the 90s, to the African American community are not unique to the race in general. In fact, um, a lot of the problems we've seen in the African American community with violence and the inner city especially is what was, was very common in the white white um, hillbilly and rural communities about a hundred years ago and how many of the things that helped raise the white community out of that area from that area out to that kind of poverty was a change in lifestyle and culture and that could also help the black community in the uh, inner city today and also about you know um, many of the problems that um, the Asian community has also faced in America. Uh, another book I'm reading is the uh, Remembering Prisoners, Remembered Prisoners of a Forgotten War, by an oral history of the Korean War POWs by Louis C. Carlson from St. Martin Press. This is about the uh, POWs, American mostly, who were in. Um, captured during the Korean War and their uh, experience. This is basically told in their words. And space, this would make a great movie. There needs to be miniseries about these men because many of them were maligned when they came home. They were accused of being brainwashed and um, conspirators and traitors. But yet many of them bravely survived harsh conditions and they survived. They are heroes and they need to be remembered and honored. And, uh, it's very complicated. Many of them, there were a lot of, a lot of reactionaries among the um, POWs. They refused to be brain rossed. Only 21 of them uh, refused repatriation, uh, repatriation, while a lot of the communist prisoners wanted to stay in South Korea and be free. So the POWs who survived the communist prison camps during the Korean conflict are American heroes. The Girl Who Escaped ISIS, this is my story, Farida Calfe and, and with Andrea C. Hoffman from Gale, um, Thorndike Press. This is a very inspirational book, amazing story. This girl who was able to escape ISIS, she was able to over survive having been uh, raped and being a sex slave. And she was actually a very smart young woman who had used her mouth, her uh, math to math ability mathematical abilities to escape definitely deserves to be a movie the plight of these women um you hear about women here in america complaining about a war on women the Azizi women and the women in iraq have suffered terribly at the hands of isis the isis terrorist and they need to be honored with a film their plight is much more important than uh you know the the fat saming and stuff that goes on here in america that gets people triggered all the time uh, now the book I'm going to read about Iraq, it's, uh, they say we are infidels on the run from ISIS with persecuted Christians in the Middle East by Mindy Blaz from uh, Tyndale Press. This is a very sobering book about the Christians who have been persecuted in America and are being persecuted in Iraq and how they are able to survive and stand up against ISIS. You know, while the persecution happened, unfortunately, after America invaded, this book definitely needs to be re read by everyone in America to see what Christians in Iraq are enduring, and we need to keep them in our prayers. 
As the Crow Flies by Kurt Isles. Um, the West, this is the West, about the West Point fight. This is from um, Creep Bank Books. It is about um, the conflict in Wild West experience in West Louisiana between Western Louisiana and No Man's Land between uh, white settlers and the uh, Redbone people who were descendants of uh, mixed race descendants of you know Indians, Portuguese pirates, and uh, one of the only battles the American Indians ever won. What's the Westport fight? Very interesting book. Definitely needs to be a movie. I'm definitely going to do a video on it. I've been listening to two different books. One is about like Glenn Beck. It is about Islam exposing the truth about ISIS, Al Qaeda, and the Caliphate. This is about how um, when media says these terrorist groups have nothing to do with Islam, it shows how uh, these terrorists are taking sections of the Quran and are using it to justify their killings. And it's how the media is not, how the media is denying that, is not many the truth about how, yes, these are Islamic terrorists. Of course, not all Muslims are terrorists, but in order to defeat terrorism, we have to defeat the mindset of these people, which is found within the Islamic um, teachings. And unfortunately, the media is not paying attention to that, and their leaders are lying to us about it. And um, uh, these lies, again, not all Muslims are terrorists, and there are many peaceful peaceful, loving Muslims who are reasonable, yet there are many who are being persuaded by teachings that are in Islam, and these falsehoods must be confronted. One of the ways to do this is like what Greg Morgison is doing. Morgison is, is doing in pa Pakistan with three cups of tea, one man's mission to fight terrorism and build nations one school at a time, by Greg Morgison and David Oliver, Oliver Rewin. This is a very inspiring book. Tantor Media, uh, awesome book. It was my second time to listen to it. Definitely needs to be a movie. This is about a man who, uh, through fate or an accident, got lost and ended up in a village, was inspired to teach these children, build schools for these children. Very amazing story. I highly recommend it. So that's been what I've been reading. I need to go get some lunch. Uh, hope you all have a great week, great weekend. God bless. God bless America.